Hello, my friends. John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at Endless Winter Paleo-Americans. All right, nice, big, heavy box. Let's see what we get inside of it. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much for doing so. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So this is what you get when you buy this game from your flags. Nothing special as far as the Kickstarter stuff or anything like that. This is just what you get off the shelf. I like how they put at the very back here the whole game kind of set up, which is cool, even though I think I'm going to guess that there's, well, maybe this is all the way set up. But you see all the components, and that's the most important thing I think about it. And it tells you the, the uh, what you get and all that jazz and still has room to, you know, explain the background and everything else. Okay. Looking inside, we have this nice uh, illustrated in, you know, upper box, which is cool. We've got the rule book here, which has the same kind of texture as the wingspan like rule books or other things um, from Stonemeyer games, even though it's not a Stonemeyer game. Okay, so you got your setup there and then an overview of play. Looks like plenty of examples, which is always a good thing. Love to see that. That's really important to me. And here is the different actions. And final scoring there, page 15. And then some variable setups or variant setups, I guess. Card abilities, etc. Sacred stone tiles, modules, and iconic iconography. So there's that. Then we have our solo mode. Let's see how big this is. Okay, a different setup here. Tells you how to play starting at page three. So it looks like you're going to have a decent amount of rules to learn for the solo mode. Which isn't the end of the world as long as it's straightforward. And then they also give you some information on how to deal with the three expansions, which I don't have at the moment. How that integrates. So that's good though. I like that they put that in there and give you a list of how to put this thing away, which is nice. All right, and then here we are on to the components. Okay, so the dual sided uh, or dual layered boards here come in this little strap, which is good. Hopefully, they will have, uh, you know, not warped or anything else. They don't spin around. But we look like we do have illustration differences here but i don't see any differences on the actual boards themselves so i don't see that doesn't look like it's asymmetric in that regard all right some more things to keep things straight in shipping which is good okay and then we have player color pieces here so these are nice wooden screen printed pieces in the different player colors, my guess. Could be wrong about that, but I think I'm right. We have some you know, workers, some 100 point score markers, some what look like probably birds perhaps. And then some different animals here, all screen printed in nice. We've got some cubes that are see-through, some teepees, all the game trays now, so we'll put those, those look like one per player, and then uh, in here we have this big game tray, which hopefully I'm not missing one, that's probably for an expansion, that's my guess, that's my guess, which is totally fine, <laughs> as long as I'm not missing any components, Really don't feel like going through all that. Okay, we have some plastic, what looks like igloos or yurts or something of that nature. And then some other things for the player colors. We have our four different pieces here. They are single-sided. I know they go together in some fashion. Okay, and then they did shrink wrap this. These should be thick enough where it's not going to matter on warpage. Let me open it up here. A 
Okay, definitely. We've got medium thickness in the cardboard, which is good. Here is our player board itself, which has some very nice illustrations to it. All right, there's the back. And then here, looks pretty sharp. Okay. All right, here's our tiles. Like I said, medium thickness should be good. Hopefully no real warp. I do like the look of everything. It has a nice bright and colorful look. Okay. And then the final one here. All right, and then the last thing to check is the actual components of the cards here. So in the card quality department here, we have a textured card. Um, they're, they're probably average thickness. They don't seem too thin or too thick. I'm gonna sleeve them, but um, I'm not sure you'd have to if you were a person who didn't sleeve already. They're certainly very colorful. They're very well illustrated cards. It's clear what the icons are showing. Um, so I don't think there's gonna be any real problem with understanding it once you understand the iconography as usual, but it also seems like it's fairly similar in what's going on. So hopefully it won't be too bad, but they all do look, uh, look nice and colorful here. All right, so yeah, it seems like for whatever reason you just, I mean the Hunter, a lot of the same kind of things here. Whoops. So let's put that back in the order. The Hunters. Yep. All right. Let's take a look at the smaller cards. Yeah, again, I think you're going to be just fine without having to sleeve them if you're not a sleever like I am. So, looks like these are all for the different animals. And it looks like you just have tons of the same kind. I mean, there's different, obviously, you could tell the different animals there, but there's, uh, you know, multiples of the same kind here. Okay. All right. And then the final deck. More of these cards. This looks like now more like event things or something else. These all seem to be unique. A lot of those, so one, two, and three, maybe. Nope, one and two, and then some more stuff here. And now on this side, this might be our solo cards, perhaps? Don't know. These are definitely for the player colors. This looks like the solo deck. So probably a solo game. Um, having to do with different icons and actions, etc. But plenty of those. All right, there we go. So thanks for uh, watching, people. I really appreciate it. And whatever you decide to do in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take easy, everybody.